Hello, Asa. Sorry I haven't made a video. <coughs> You're gonna like this one. I guarantee it. I don't know if you remember this graph, but that means a print is heating up. Anyway, so the print starts normally enough. And ah, uh, crap, you realize you fricked up the print. Anyway, it starts off like a normal print, like I said it would. And then apparently it stops printing halfway through. Anyway, now that we're finally actually printing, you can start to see it get wavy. And you can see the print head actually moves up and down as it prints. Okay, so here we have a calibration cube. And Ace, I don't know if you're personally very familiar with the shape, but this is just a guy you print to see how well your printer's working. And it's a cube. Hence the phrase calibration cube. But I did something cursed with it. I made it all wavy at the top. Um, here we are, let's just do a side by side and I'll explain what's going on here. So, 3D printing. This is a 3D file on my computer. Uh, I have a slicer that then takes this 3D file and says, hmm, what stack of 2D shapes can I stack up to make a good approximation of that image, of that object, and it prints it. Um, and then I took that list of 2D approximations and I said, what if you started flat on the bottom and you slowly made them wavy? You slowly made it so it slowly had rises and falls in the height within that layer. Um, and that's what got me this guy. Well, that's cool, but the top doesn't look and isn't exactly quite smooth. So in 3D printing, there's a thing called ironing, which is basically you go over this top layer a second time to smooth it out. Not so. I have made a what I would consider unreasonably smooth yet still curved shape out of my 3D printer. And now I'm gonna cut to cool footage of this printing in 3D to kind of give a bit more context. Yeah, the, the reason this video is even later than I planned it to be is because I have to reflash my printer's firmware. So uh, back to you in the studio, me. All right, Asa, so if we're looking at this from a side view, our normal 3D print layers are gonna look like this, like straight lines. And as we print, we do layers of these, pretend these are straight lines, like my handwriting straight. And that's how you get a 3D object. But say we're making one of those cubes. So we'll start flat because it's on a flat print bed and there ain't nothing we can do about it. But when we get up here, we want it to look something like that. Well then, what we can do is we can interpolate between these two functions. That is to say, halfway between here and here, it'll be half that function. So it'll be that shape, but like half as wavy. And then pretty close to flat as you get close to the bottom. And then as you get farther up, you can make it wavier until you build up your object like that, which is pretty much all you have to do to get those funky shapes. Anyway, Asa, this is my third time saying goodbye because I keep trying to package more details into it. Uh, but the point is that I'm going to package all the details in another video that's meant to be a technical overview, exploration of it all, and also uh, my website. And when those videos come out, they will be linked down below and you'll probably see them in the channel. Um, so look forward to that if you're a V or Brooks. And otherwise, feel free to ignore that video when it comes out. Thank you for following. I've been working on this for like four months now, so it's very nice to have a curvy 3D print to hold in my hand and say, look, I did it. Um, all that in mind, uh, thank you guys for listening. Thank you for putting up with my lack of videos as I finished up the quarter. No real good excuse there. But uh, Asa, I'll see you on Wednesday.